people are always asking me, what's your next goal? What's your next dream? To, you know, all the stuff you hadn't accomplished. And I said, well, I've done, you know, I've done everything. Well, that was country music artist Alan Jackson when he was inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame in 2017. So the man who has done everything has instilled that same work ethic in his children. And tonight, News 2's Nikki Verdine sits down with Jackson's daughter about her new book. And it's not about her father, but her life overcoming tragedy. If someone can read my story and feel like I feel in this moment. Maddie Jackson Selectman has always loved storytelling, perhaps a skill she was born with. From her mother, who is a New York Times best-selling author, and her father, who's been known to write a few songs. It was at college at the University of Tennessee that Maddie honed her creative writing skills, and also where she met the love of her life, Ben. Basically fell in love with him immediately, and it was just kind of a whirlwind romance, and we were engaged fast and married fast. A timeline Maddie is now grateful for. And, you know, in retrospect, probably a little hastily, but, like, it's such... A kindness from God at this point because it just gave us the most time together as possible. Less than a year after they got married, they were on vacation in Florida when Ben slipped and fell on a wet dock, hitting his head on the concrete. I thought maybe he has a concussion, but he was okay. And Ben was rushed to the hospital, but never came home. I ended up being in the ICU for 12 days, obviously severe brain swelling, multiple surgeries, and medically induced coma, and then eventually. I think it was just too much on his body. Just three weeks shy of their first anniversary, Maddie became a widow at the age of 28. It truly feels like an amputation, like all of the sudden, because you commit your whole life, like your mind, your body, your soul to this person, and you see that lasting at least several decades. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, you know, part of it is chopped off immediately and you're left to hobble through life with one leg all of a sudden. Through prayer and therapy, Maddie found comfort in doing something she loved, writing. Her journals would become a catalyst for her healing. And now, three years since Ben's passing, Maddie's words are a book called Lemons on Friday. It's not a grief guide, and there's no easy to-do list for healing. It's simply what helped her, like not asking why. Like, if, if God make, gave me a phone call and left me a voicemail and said, this is exactly why this happened, Ben would still be gone and I would still miss him on all those days and I would still have to learn how to grieve and live life well without him. And so why do I need the answer? I just, I had to start choosing to trust the plan. I had to start choosing to celebrate in the small ways, sometimes tiny ways that I could at the beginning. That asterisk on her happy days will always be there, but there's also a footnote, one filled with faith and a renewed purpose. And so I see those fruits now, but yeah, early on, you have to just keep reminding yourself that he really can make sweet things out of bitter lemons. I mean, keep her dying. News too. Oh, meantime, Maddie has also started an organization to help a special group of people. You can read all about her story online at WKRN.com.